How many of you know that uh, Mel Gibson some time ago exposed these devils in high places, meaning a super elite, maybe maybe people in politics, uh, movie stars, producers, people of power that make a lot of money. How many of you know that he exposed them in uh, not only child pornography, but child sacrifices? And this has been um, going on for a while. And what happens is that the media, they just totally dismisses it. You had Hillary Clinton. Um, she was ex- uh, uh, accused of uh, trafficking children through um, uh, an organization called Pizzagate. Or was revealed as Pizzagate consisted of um, wealthy people purchasing children for uh, molestation. And this is the nature of the beast. You know, a lot of us, we think that, you know, white people, um, they don't, they don't, they wouldn't do such a thing. Um, they just like me and you. Well, witchcraft doesn't exist. You're fools. You're fools. Um, it, it does exist. And it, it's, it's very real. You know, this is Mel Gibson, though. This is, uh, this is they are using and abusing kids. See that? This is they churn through a huge amount of kids. Excuse me, of kids every year. Uh, their spiritual belief, if you can uh, call them that, if you can call them that, direct them to harvest the energy of the kids. They feast on this stuff and they thrive on it. You have to excuse my reading, it's very difficult to see. Says babies are their highest currency, their premium brand of high grade caviar, cocaine, diamond steak. The money involved, you have no idea. You see that? That's crazy. Hollywood is an institutionalized pedophile ring. It is a den of parasites who feast on the blood of children. Every studio in Hollywood, you see that? Every studio in Hollywood is bought and paid for with the blood of innocent children. You better take that seriously because now you see Kanye West, you see everything going on with Kanye West. You pay very, a clo- pay, 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 pay very close attention to the Kanye West situation with him and the Kardashian family. Now they're trying to make him crazy or label him as crazy. See that to get money in this country and to be with the top elite, you have to do some form of homosexuality or satanic ritual. You have to. That's how that world works. And this is very real. A lot of you don't think this is real. This is very, very real. Check this out. It says, uh, it says, uh, in this nation, children body parts are sacrificed for witchcraft. There's an article that goes back to uh, 2017. And this, uh, this is happening in uh, Uganda. It says, um, it has been since Cynthia's uh, Masanya found the dismembered body of her 10-year-old daughter, Jane, in a pit under a outhouse the girl had gone. The girl had gone to fetch water in a nearby swamp when she was abducted, strangled, and dismembered. The body parts were recovered miles away. 
I was shocked when I saw the mutilated body of my daughter, Misana, Misanya, Th Misanya 30 wept. As she recalled the horror, I really couldn't believe if she was really my daughter. She was missing almost every part of her body. She died in a very painful death. Police later arrested a wealthy neighbor businessman, Gilbert Adima, who authorities, who authorities allege used Jane as a human sacrifice. See that? A human sacrifice. And this is real. You had it going on in the biblical times. You, have it, you had it going on during slavery. You had it going on in the time past, and you have it, have, you have it coming to pass and happening today. Even today. Check that out. It says, police later arrested the wealthy neighbor businessman, Gilbert Adima, who authorities allege used Jane as a human sacrifice in witchcraft. See that? Witchcraft rituals designed to bring him good fortune. See? He, conf he confessed to me that he carried out the ritual to boost his dwindling business. <laughs> Misana... Masanya recounted about Adima, who, who is now in prison awaiting trial. He said he knew the act would bring him good luck and success in life. <laughs> what do you think this is not real? This is very real, man. This says, uh, where child sacrifice is business. It's another one. It says, uh, this is in Uganda again. It says, school children are closely watched by teachers and parents as they make their way home from school. In playgrounds and on the roadside are posted warning of the danger of abduction by witch doctors. See that? Witch doctors uh, for the purpose of child sacrifice. This is the ritual, the ritual which some believe brings wealth See that? And good health was almost unheard of in the country until about three years ago, but has but has reemerged seemingly alongside a boom in the country's economy. It says uh, the mutilated bodies of children have been discovered. Let me see if I can. Can you see that? Let me see if I can move that over. Can't move it over. Again, this is uh, the mutilated bodies of children have been discovered at roadsides. The victims of apparent, excuse me, the victims of an apparent growing belief in the power of human sacrifice. Many believe that the members of the county's new elite, they go to that elite again, are paying witch doctors vast sums of money for the sacrifice in a bid to increase their wealth. Check that out. Now, this is nothing new. I mean, this has been happening for years, for years. And we're going to see an, as, as the day of judgment comes closer and closer, the powers that be and people who love this wicked world or Satan's world, they're going to be doing more and more sacrifices. They're going to be doing more and more sacrifices to protect themselves and their businesses and to keep them in tune with the dark side. This is nothing new. This is Psalms 106, verse 34. It's, it's um, you know, pertaining to our people. It said they did not destroy the nations concerning whom the Lord commanded them. So there was a there was a point where the Lord commanded us to destroy the heathens, the Africans, Canaanites. But we chose not to destroy them. It says, but they were mingled among the heathens and learned their works. So in Haiti, the Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, you better believe human sacrifice exists. You better believe that the rituals that go all the way back to the ancient times are being practiced now, and not just by us, by Esau, the so-called white man, as well as the so-called Africans, which we just read in Uganda. That's why you gotta pay close attention to your children. A lot of these children that, children that are missing, especially around Halloween and, and certain times of the year, are being used for human sacrifices. Then you have what's called body snatchers, where 
you'll meet a beautiful woman and you'll take her back to your hotel and she'll drug you and they'll steal your body parts because body parts are big on the market today. Your body parts like a liver or a heart or kidneys are worth a lot of money. People have woke up in tubs filled with ice, stitched back up, missing body parts. Then some people are used for human sacrifices because power exists on the left hand side. Power exists on the devil's side. The same way you worship and serve the most high and do his bidding and get blessings, it's very possible to sacrifice and give your soul over to the devil and receive blessings as well. And you have countless uh, uh, examples of that in scripture. So we believe that too. When we mingled ourselves among the heathens and learned their works, meaning their wickedness, and served their idols, which were a sneer unto, us, unto them. It says, and they sacrificed their sons and their daughters. This is what we did. Unto devils, see? Yea, they sacrificed their sons and daughters unto devils and shed innocent blood, even the blood of their sons. See that? So we did that, and a lot of brothers and sisters are doing it today. And they shed innocent blood, even the blood of their sons and daughters, whom they sacrificed. See that? Whom they sacrificed unto the idols of Canaan, and the land was polluted with blood. Thus were they defiled with their own works and went a whoring with their own inventions. See that? Check that out. Therefore, the Lord was wrath, meaning angry. Again, it says, therefore was the wrath of the Lord kindled against his people. In so much that he abhorred, meaning hated his own inheritance. Mosai was angry at us and hated his own inheritance inheritance and gave them into the hand of the heathen see and, and that's where we are now and gave them into the hand of the heathen and they excuse me and they that hated them ruled over them see that one more time it says and he gave them into the hand of the heathen which were the so-called africans the heathen and they that hated them ruled over them and their enemies oppressed them, and they were brought into subjection under their hand. Why? Because we did what we just read. We sacrificed our own sons and daughters to pagan gods. We chose to do that. We chose to do that. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 20, it says, But I say that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice the devils. And you're going to find that out. What the so-called white man is after, he's into what religions he follows, what beliefs he holds in the spirit that we mingled ourselves among in the past and we're doing it today through their religions and their beliefs. The Lord said, but I say that the things with the, which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils and not to the most high. See that? And I would not that you should have fellowship with devils. You cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of devils. You cannot be partakers of the Lord's table, meaning the Lord's righteousness, and of the table and, and of the table of devils, meaning the pagan beliefs. So we have choices now, and we had choices in the past. But you better believe that in these last days, more children are going to be missing. This COVID thing, I believe that a lot of that is uh consists of sacrifices on the low or behind the scenes and the sale of body parts that's what i personally believe because the devil gonna fight like hell to try to maintain and keep power in this country he gonna try he gonna fight like hell and you got people in high places that worship and bow to satan and they kill and sacrifice every day and like we just read a little bit of, I didn't go deep into it, but they drink blood to make them rich and also to keep them young. To keep them young. 22nd verse says, do we provoke the Lord to jealousy? We are strong. Excuse me. Do we provoke the Lord to jealousy? Are we stronger than he? 
<laughs> and everyone's going to find out that the true and living power in judgment time is the most high. We're going to find that out. And you're going to have people that's going to deny the most high. They're going to deny the most high. Ephesians, the sixth chapter, in the 10th verse, it says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of the most high that ye may be able to stand against the wiles, meaning the trickery of the devil. And you're going to see a lot of that, not just pertaining to the sacrifice, but pertaining to the doctrine, pertaining to the belief. To try to get your mind to sacrifice your soul unto devils in these last days. 12 verses says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. See that? So the fight is not against flesh and blood. It's not a physical thing. But against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness of this world. Again, it says, against the rulers of of the darkness of this world see the darkness of this world now the maintainers and the power brokers of this world that try to sway you over to the devil are the super elite who trust in witchcraft and child sacrificing and pornography everything that's negative and against scripture they practice those things and they sacrifice their souls and their will to the powers that be in this world that consists of darkness that's why it says against the rulers of the darkness of this world against spirit against spiritual wickedness in high places see in high places like your washington dc your congress your uh your fbi your cia so the lord he's warning us he said for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers against rulers of darkness of this world of this world we're not of this world we are of the world of the most high that's why christ your house high said he is not of this world the father sent him in this world to die for israel but he's not of this world render unto caesar what is caesar in this world abuse not yourself <laughs> in this uh, in this world obey the powers that be in this world be not, un, uh, be not unequally yoked with who? The unbelievers that's of this world. Love not the world, neither the things that are in this world. Because this world is ruled by the powers of darkness. And the people who reside and uphold those powers of darkness. So this says, against, the, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the excuse, excuse me says wherefore take unto you the whole armor of the Most High that you may be able to withstand in the evil day. See, in the evil day, having done all to stand. And it says, stand therefore, having your girt, having your loins girt about with truth, which is in the Bible, and having the breastplate of righteousness. So you can't be a righteous man. And uh, indulge in the witchcraft. You can't be a righteous man and be in league with this world. You have to be a righteous man and stand in the faith and understand that the powers of evil and wickedness, that's the opposite of the most high. Those things are designed to, uh, to, 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 to trap you and to seduce you and to have you unprepared in the day of judgment that's the that's the purpose of those things you know so us as righteous strong soldiers we know what's going on we know what's happening and we know there's power in the most high we know there's power in the most high I mean look at this it's crazy see this Again, it says many believe that the members of the country's new elite are paying witch doctors vast sums of money for the sacrifice in a bid to increase their wealth. See that? And that's what it comes down to. Wealth. And it says this young man, it says uh, Stevens' decapitated body was found in a field. So this is real, man. When you're like, you know, 
I remember when I first came into knowledge, um, the sister, we was very close and she had two young boys and um, she, the boys were at my house. I think they were at my house. I can't remember. It was at some type of function and um, she wanted to, she, did, she didn't want to go and get the kids. She just said, let them walk down the block themselves. And I said, you shouldn't, you shouldn't do that. And she said, why? I said, because, you know, witchcraft exists in a lot of these kids that disappear. You're not just disappearing. And the people who are snatching them up are not just crazy people. These are people who sacrifice these kids to different gods based on a belief of witchcraft or following the devil in the, uh, you know, if you're a Benjamite or a West Indian, you call it uh, Obia or science. If you're so-called African America, you call it maybe voodoo or Haitian voodoo. You know, these things exist. And she laughed at me at first, but she sat down there and thought real good and hard and jumped up, grabbed her coat and went down and get to, down the block to get her children. And this is real, man. A lot of your children, a lot of people who die, a lot of celebrities who, are, who die, they die by the hands of witches. And right now in Washington, D.C. and all around the world, they're practicing witchcraft very hard because they're trying to fight and stop these prophecies from coming to pass. The prophecies are coming to pass and we're in the last days and America will be judged and America will be burned. It will be. And they're fighting very hard very hard to stop uh, prophecy from coming to pass, but they, they can't they can't stop it. But it's, it's going to happen. It's going to happen, you know, because America, which is known as Babylon, has ruled for so long in wickedness that the Most High is ready to do her in. <laughs> Revelations 18 and 1 it says, And after these things I saw another angel come down from heaven having great power, and the earth was lightened with her glory. It's the spirit of Christ, Yahweh Shai. And stop listening to these Old Testament brothers. These Old Testament brothers are devils. You cannot receive salvation without who the world calls Christ. These are demons stuck in a world of darkness trying to drag you back into the old ways. The new covenant is Christ, Yahweh Shai. Break off from these Old Testament dudes. If you are associating with the Old Testament brothers to a large capacity, you are lost. You are lost and the Most High is going to judge you. He's going to judge you because the Lord is our Passover. How are you having Passover with Old Testament brothers? The Lord is our salvation. How are you associating with people that uh, that dismiss uh, Yahweh Shai Christ and call him an idol? You are a weak brother or sister that does such things. The world is lit with Christ. That's 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 that's. That's the glorification of the world, Christ, Yahweh Shah. I keep saying Christ, but you know, I'm saying it for edification purpose. That's the power. You're supposed to rebuke and verbally smash and dismiss people who disrespect our Lord and Savior and our King. That's the position you're supposed to, you're supposed to play and take. And it says, and he cried mightily with a strong voice saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is falling, and has become the habitation of devils. See that? Has become the habitation or the living environment, a place of dwelling of devils, meaning wicked spirits. And the hold of every foul spirit in the place or the resting place of every foul spirit. So every negative foul spirit that can be found in scripture is right here in America, Babylon. Every wicked spirit that's against scripture or the Bible or righteousness or what's pure can be found right here in America. And it says in a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. See that? It says for all nations have drunk of her wine Excuse me. For all nations have drunk of the wine of her wrath, of her fornication. See that? Meaning pagan beliefs, witchcraft. Hmm? See that? Everything that's against the Bible, but her fornication consists of the worshiping of devils. The Lord told us in Corinthians, 
he would not that we should have fellowship with devils and the things they sacrifice to is of devils. Then here in the third verse of the 18th chapter of Revelation, it says, for all nations have drunk of the wine of her wrath and of her fornication and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. The merchants of the earth are wax rich through the abundance of her delicacy. So these same uh, merchants that became rich, that's done through witchcraft, fornication spiritually, perhaps uh, child sacrifice, but overall it's, uh, it's the bending knee to the devil. It's the bending knee to the devil. Fourth verse, and I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people. See that? So if there's any form of witchcraft around you, you're supposed to separate yourself from that and join yourself to Christ, Yahweh Shai. If someone just believes in the Old Testament, you're supposed to separate yourself from that brother or sister and join yourself to Christ, Yahweh Shai. Anything that goes against scripture, you're supposed to separate yourself from that particular brother or sister. I'm not saying to be rude or disrespectful, but spiritually, you're not supposed to be unequally yoked with that brother or sister, or you're not, you're not supposed to have any serious dealings with that brother or sister. 18 verse four, 18 chapter four verse again, it says, and I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins and that you receive not of her plagues. So the plagues are here, are coming and they're escalating more and more. You see how fast the weeks are going? You see how fast the months and the years are going? We just started summer, now we're going right back into winter, COVID season. <laughs> going back into COVID territory. We just finished. Open your eyes. You're almost there, we at the finish line, almost. You can see the finish line. You can see it, man. You know why you can see it? Because you, spiritually you're champions and we, you're, we're winning. We're winning. Some of us are winning. And some brothers, you see them. Some sisters, you see them. Some brothers and sisters are losers. Don't let them be dead weight and hold you back. Have the courage to speak your own mind, to use your own mind, to express your own mind, and separate from the weak brothers and sisters. Separate from the hypocrites and the liars and grow strong and be a warrior in your howl show me how shy this is brother Bukwa signing out you champions you're the champions man Shalom.